Hey guys, you know what I've been thinking? Well, as most of you should know, I'm a huge System of a Down fan. And I was kind of pissed off when they broke up, but... I've finally seen like a chain of events that started with the Beatles, honestly. If you don't know who the Beatles are, you're absolutely retarded. But when the Beatles broke up, just listen to this. There were four extremely talented musicians. Paul McCartney went off to, um, fuck, form a band called The Wings. Not, you know, self-titled. John Lennon went off to form a band named after himself. And this is where the similarities start. System of a Down. Four extremely talented musicians. When they break up, Serge Tankian or Tonkian, whatever, I have no idea how to pronounce that, goes out and makes a self-titled band. And this, I just found out about this today. You know that band, well, if you don't already know about this, this band called Scar uh, Scars on Broadway? Yeah, you've probably heard about them through at least, like, an ad on MySpace or something, but never really looked into it. Well, just today, I heard about them. I've seen the ads, but I didn't really pay much attention. And when I watched their video, I couldn't help but recognize a little bit. I had no idea who the fuck it was at first. But his voice sounded familiar, and like his fucking crazy eyes, I was like, oh shit. So I went on to Wikipedia and make sure, and yeah, it's Darren from System of a Down. Now I'm gonna try to fucking pronounce his last name. And the drummer from System of a Down. Scars on Broadway equals wings. Serge Tonkin, Tankian, whatever, John Lennon. But then, what happened to George Harrison and Ringo? Well, in this case, Ringo is in with Scars on Broadway, and the bass player, he's in a hip-hop band. Don't ask me. I didn't say it was exactly alike. But, yeah. So, i guessing, as we're on the topic, I can review the two albums. Because people are getting, like, so pissy at each other trying to decide who's better. And it's just like people fighting over who's better, Alice in Chains and Nirvana. They're two extremely different fucking bands, so don't compare them. So, I'm not going to compare the two bands side by side. I'm just going to basically talk about the music and how good it is. I'll start with Surge. Honestly, Surge is one of my favorite singers ever. And him doing all the instruments in all the songs actually turns out pretty well. Not to mention he integrates a lot of different styles of music and folklore into his music. The thing that... I have a problem with with his music is that most of the songs sound the same. And I know, I like Smashing Pumpkins and R.E.M., so I really shouldn't be bitching about that. But at least there's a little difference in some Smashing Pumpkins and R.E.M. songs. Honestly, I couldn't tell the difference between half the songs on Siamese Dream. But, whatever. But anyway, even live, Surge with the FCC... The Flying Cunts of Chaos are actually extremely fucking good. And the album, I guess there's enough diversity in it to call it an album. And I'm thinking Majority and Lie 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 are extremely good songs. I think Empty Walls is a little overrated. But altogether, with all the songs on the album, the band has an extreme future, well, extremely good future. As long as, you know, they... Well, he's got an album planned for 2010 or 2009, I'm not sure which. But I really hope that the system of a down hiatus doesn't last as long as I think it will. So, as for Surge... The Surge's band... On a scale of 1 to 5... 4.5... Just because of the lack of diversity in the music. And then there's Scars on Broadway. 
people always have a problem with Darren's singing voice, and honestly, <laughs> I think it's awesome. I mean, my favorite System of a Down songs are usually ones that are Darren heavy, because his voice is just so crazy and awesome. Like, Kill Your Rock and Roll, for example. That is such a fucking great song, because they actually give Darren the mic for a change. I know in the later System of a Down songs, they did it too, and... Well, Kitty Rock and Roll is, I think, one of the first ones where they did it, at least on the newer album, is because they hardly ever sang in the other ones. But people bitched about that, but honestly, I like that they gave him a chance to sing, because really, he's a really good singer. He's up with Surge. Not comparing them in the same way, of course, because they're two extremely different singers! And... Shit, screaming that made me lose my focus. Well, anyway, as for the other people in the band, I'm not exactly sure who everyone but the drummer is. And honestly, I don't care. I mean, they're good enough, but the bass player seems like a total douche. But John... Oh my god, fuck that. What is it with System of a Down and having extremely hard to pronounce last names? I know they're all foreign, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, anyway, the bald dude who plays drums. He's still pretty awesome. I mean, System of a Down, I didn't really look at the drums too much in their songs because I was too distracted by either Darren's insane screaming or his fucking awesome guitar playing. Or Surge's extremely scary fast voice. But their first album, I just downloaded it today. And honestly, some of these songs are the best I've heard in a very, 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 very long time. So, if you're gonna buy any fucking album right now, go get Scars on Broadway. Well, if you're gonna buy it, I mean, if you're if you're gonna download shit, go get Empty Wall. Oh, fuck, Empty Wall. Duh. Elect the Dead and Scars on Broadway. Because I think your computer can hold like what? Both of them together would be like maybe 140 MB. Well, at least high quality. That's what I have. Yeah. So. Just do yourselves a fucking favor, but if you don't like System of a Down, you're really not going to like Stars on Broadway, because that's the closest you can get to Sode. And as for Surge, it's a different style of music, but it really works for him, and I like it. If you don't, well, fuck you. <sighs> and, well, I'm, oh, by the way, Stars on Broadway, four stars. Mm, yeah, four. Just because, just the amazingness of Surge doing all the instruments by himself kinda, you know, outshines the four people in the other band. That's the only reason, really. And, while I'm on the topic, System of a Down. Out of ten, ten. So, I think you can tell... Wait, the one thing I really want to happen... I really don't care about the bass player, mind you. That... There should be a Surge, Surge Tankian or Tonkian, like, so many people have told me how to fucking pronounce it, so I just kind of tiptoe around it, and Scars on Broadway tour. It could be kind of like, well, it's kind of hard to, you know, name one exact concert, but maybe have five songs from Surge, five songs from Scars, and three songs from, um... System of a Down. Just, you know, bring in a new bass player. Or actually just bring in the old one, I don't care. That'd be pretty damn awesome. I would pay any amount of money to fucking see them. Well, speaking of seeing things, I'm going to No Mercy! Fuck yeah! And then Carlos Mencia. So, <laughs> it's in like two months, but whatever. But I'm running really, really, really low on time, so I'm just going to end it here. So, wax on, wax off. And why are my videos so long now?